Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fandabby dozy day. I feel like I have been um, awake for a week and then I've just had a five minute nap and I'm super tired and I don't understand why because that's not the case at all. I should be filming a video today for Monday, it's Saturday, it's coming up one o'clock in the afternoon and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to have a crack at rearranging my room. I can't be in front of a screen, a lens or whatever um, today because my brain just can't cope with it right now. So I thought I'll do something physical, have a crack at rearranging my room. So I'm going to get my coffee, my go-go juice. I've got one of my Bowie t-shirts on. I'm going to stick some Bowie on to listen to. And I am going to maybe film it maybe not film it who knows none of this may see the light of day so this is my room as it is i've got my pink chair over here i've got as you know my shelves with all my bags up there my desk is directly in front of the window which really doesn't work it i thought it was going to be a good use of space because i can't put anything up behind it but really really the sunlight comes through the window and it goes straight into my eyes so it blinds me these shelves aren't exactly um, safe up here. I don't know what's going on, but this one in particular wants to pull away from the wall. And um, my mirror here, hello, um, is not particularly well placed for um, capturing those uh, selfies and mod shots and everything. And then I've got some stuff hanging up behind the door. And that's probably going to stay there because there's not much else I can do with that space. But I'm not going to be able to keep my bags up there. I've got a hangy thing up over that door and I don't like it and it just it just needs sorting so the plan is move all of that over onto that wall I am going to get a floor to ceiling sort of sheer curtain there I think floor to ceiling would look better than having it sort of cut off about here and then I might put my pink chair here in front of it if I can if there's room for it the desk and the drawers are going to go here it's going to stick out a little bit here and then the shelving unit is going to stick out a little bit here but there will still be enough room to walk through and then this mirror is going to go in that corner and the reason that I want to put it in that corner it, it's a bit annoying because it takes up space but because the sun comes through here then the sun will be coming onto me and you'll be seeing reflected in the mirror me in the sun, not the mirror reflecting the sun, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I've started clearing out this unit here, giving it a bit of a dust down because it is a bit of a dust magnet and this is the dustiest room in the house for some reason because I think it's probably going to take a couple of days so I can store my bags in here. Um, while I'm doing it, bags and bits and pieces. So let's uh, grab a coffee and crack on. Daisy came in and pulled my tripod over and you can see, let's get it in some more lights, she has absolutely stuffed the camera lens so hubby has very kindly offered to take it to the independent camera shop while I carry on dismantling my room. That will not extend or go back in or anything. Let's see, can you see it better there? <gasps> Hopefully that can be fixed. Hubby is a legend for taking it for me. So Hubby is back from the camera place and they said normally they would be able to just bop it, bop it back into place, but it's well and truly wedged. It is knackered. There is no, there is no fixing it. So Hubby's upstairs looking for another lens, but it does mean until this gets sorted, I'm going to have to use my uh, my phone, and I don't know what the audio is going to be like on it. It's going to be weird. Yeah, it's just extra cost and extra money and things we can do without. So that's disappointing, and the room's not working out either. <laughs> so I'll go and show you that. So I took the units 
took everything out but these units are fixed together so hubby and i have tried moving it as one one unit um and we can't we can't do it so it looks like that's going to have to stay put or i break it down we move the pieces individually but then hubby didn't like my idea of putting my desk here you know he didn't like my idea of putting my desk there because you can see where the sunlight comes at the bottom on the carpet. Thank you very much, you can see it going up. So he thinks that I'd be getting a lot of screen reflection from the window behind, which he's probably right. My desk, we put it in, we put it over here, close to the, the door, because we tried putting the mirror in that corner. Okay, so you can see my legs here are in, the sun though and yes I am wearing my grey marks and spark shorts again I love them so that would and this would be the backdrop everything hanging up here unless I twisted it a bit more but the desk is there and I can't move the desk all the time because it's gonna have my monitor and my laptop and everything on there so if I try and leave the mirror here I'm basically a silhouette that doesn't work out this is another option I've got it up against here, won't be able to open the drawers. I don't generally go in those two drawers there anyway, so that might not be too much of an issue. But it's a bit weird having it partly in front of the window like that. But, and it does block out some of the direct sunlight. There's still going to be a sheer curtain here anyway to hide the radiator and just take the edge off that sunlight. But... This is my dream mirror, but it's proving to be a bit of a pain in the ass to uh, work out what to do with it. Isn't enough room to have the mirror where it was before, which is here, with the desk there. So I'm feeling a little bit flummoxed. Um, the mirror might have to go into another room and be replaced by the tiny one. So this is the little mirror that I was using before we bought the big dream mirror. And as you can see on the floor, it's it's just that little bit too low to be able to get everything in. And then when do we put the big mirror? Hmm? Tell me that. Could put my big mirror in this room, in the corner here, or where the little one is. Move all the boxes and everything out of the way. This room is still a tip, it still needs sorting. I could put it in here and then come in here to do my outfit of the day. So we've got the bed in here though, so that'll probably be in the way. No one told me I'd have to consider all of these things when starting a blooming YouTube channel. <laughs> Hubby's only a blooming legend. He's found a used but in excellent condition replacement lens because you can't get that one new anymore, we found out. So he's found one for £95, so... Daisy's not getting a birthday present this year. And it's next week as well, so that's a big shame. It's her first birthday. But uh, yeah, she just cost us 95 quid. She cannot be trusted. You've been wonderful today, baby. Thank you. Don't be very brand new this that you put on YouTube. Well, I'm glad that I put all my bags in this unit and didn't just leave them on the bed with all the other stuff. Just got a couple of things left to tidy up because uh, it is now quarter past six. Hubby has just ordered a takeaway. We skipped lunch, which wasn't a good thing to do, but we skipped lunch and um, I haven't quite finished the room. It's not exactly how I wanted it, but it is better. So here we go. Uh, as Hubby said, I'm making the best of a bad situation because of the layout of the room. I've got this big bit that's cut away here. Otherwise, I could put my desk in that corner. Um, so, it's quite echoey in here without the uh, without all the bags to soak up the sound. So, the units have stayed where they are. The big mirror is going to be there. Da, da, da. I've taken off the hangy thing from this cupboard, so there's nothing there. I just want to change that door handle because it looks pretty grim. Um, so, that's that side. Over there is going to be my workspace with my drawers. You can see it's in sunlight at the moment, so that'll be rectified with the new sheer curtain. 
and I've got my little lighting kit there. So the pink chair is going to go back there. But when I'm doing outfit of the day, basically with the door closed, you're just going to have that backdrop. And I think this is enough light, depending on the time of day. Like I said, it's quarter past six, so it's quite bright in here, in certain areas anyway. So I've got the drawers back in the unit. That's all back to normal. I've rebuilt that. I feel a bit silly now for taking that all apart. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be okay as a workspace. I uh, need to sort out better shelves for above that. So it's not ideal, but I do feel like I've got a lot more floor space. I'm probably going to have to set my camera up here and film into this corner, which is what I did before. But the good news is the mirror then is going to block out some of the direct sunlight that used to go and hit me in the face. So it all needs to be tested. It all needs to be fully put back together. Morning. I've had a big shower and washed my hair. I am loving having shorter hair again. It just makes life so much easier. Yeah, so this morning I need to, I say this morning, it's about half 12. Um, it's been another lazy morning, uh, catching up on some YouTube videos. Don't know about you, but I always watch them to the end. So I'm probably going to put some more YouTube videos on here and then spend half my time looking looking at the screen instead of looking at this. Okay, we're nearly there and Daisy is inspecting everything. Hello, what do you think? You're not sure? You're not sure? Is it all weird? So here's how everything's looking at the moment. I've got the plants up there out of the way of prying kitties, although Daisy's going to try her best to destroy everything, as she is wont to do. Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't mean to barge you, little one. Sorry, baby. The plants are definitely gonna, not going to stay there. Longchamp is, I don't know if that's going to stay there, because uh, that shelf there is looking a little bit empty. But this is the McQueen bag that... I'm thinking about selling anyway, so I don't really know what to do with it. Oh, I have done my McQueen scarves. They're all in here now instead of hanging up, so the kittens aren't going to kill them. And this is a cute little bag that I got at Graham Blush, and it was only a fiver. But what I've been doing is I've been using it as an around-the-house bag. So if I haven't had any pockets and I wanted to carry a few things like a notebook, my phone, that kind of stuff... I would chuck them in this and then take them downstairs. What I'm also doing with it, um, which I'm enjoying, is uh, because I'm not going out much, I don't like leaving stuff in the bag because I know I'm going to change it out. So I'm kind of using this as the all of my essentials when I come home and I restuff whatever bag it is and it goes back on the shelf, I dump everything in this bag so I know where everything is at all times. And it's away in a drawer. So, still a bit of work left to do. Hopefully I'm going to get to Ikea or something and um, sort out this shelving nonsense. Well, it didn't take long for my room to become a mess again. I have literally just had a Zoom interview and uh, that is why I'm all business on top. Oh yeah. And uh, jogging bottoms and Berkeys. Yesterday my new lens arrived and we've checked it over and it works and it's brilliant so thank you very much the hubby for organising that for me. And I went to Ikea. Again I was in a bit of a rush so I didn't film it but what I have bought is a double curtain rail for a sheer curtain and then curtains to go in front of it. I wanted a grey one to blend in with the wall but this grey looks a little bit kind of corporate-y so I picked out a blue to go with bluebirds or a green to go with the foliage but I'm not sure either of those will work against the grey background. I bought a lampshade it's a flat pack lampshade one of my besties bought something very very similar <laughs> for her flat a couple of years ago and said when she opened it and realised she had to build it herself, she she messaged me and she said what fresh hell is this? Um, this is one of those picture jobbies picture ledges and I had one of those on my above my desk on the other side 
when we had it set up with me and hubby both sharing this room i had it above my monitor which i would like to put back up on the wall so i'd have the mussolander just above it it's really really handy for things like pen holders hello yota hello hello oh look at you <laughs> and then i got two floating just these are the standard cheap and cheerful lac shelves now i decided to go with this kind of what do they call it whitewashed oak i don't know what they call it what flavor are you i don't know this kind of bleached wood effect one i went with that instead of the white because i think against the wallpaper the white could just look really really stark and this is just the packet of scub organ organizers because I've got a pink one which I stole from my sock drawer for my um, McQueen scarves there and I would like to use them in the other drawers as well now you know I had all my handbags and stuff in here while I was doing this sort of move around what's this so beautifully tucked away there totally forgot that my Felici was still there where am I going to put her? where on the shelves am I going to put her? What's she doing, Daisy? What's she doing? I need the duvet. I need to finish making the bed. I need the duvet. Can I have the duvet? Is that a no? Hello! It's actually been a couple of weeks since I last filmed anything for this vlog um, and there's a very specific reason for that. I have had more interviews for the job that I had an interview that is shown earlier on in this vlog and I'm currently waiting to find out if I've actually got the job if I have got the job then it's going to mean that uh, we're going to have to relocate and we're going to have to do it fairly quickly so we're going to try and move into a rented house which means this is all still sitting here waiting to decide whether it's going to go up on the walls in the meantime I've put up the old shelves so I've got somewhere to put the plants out of the way of the girls and uh, oh look cheeky little Aspinall there for the giveaway and um, so yeah I'm I haven't really done anything else I've tidied up a little bit in here well I did tidy up a little bit I've sorted out some of my immediate paperwork I need to get to all the time and um, but over here it's it's a mess again and I've still got my balloons up from my 1k subscriber celebration video from last week yay uh, so you might remember I wasn't going to keep this lampshade from the HomeSense haul because I didn't feel that it fitted particularly well with the wallpaper. However, when I came to take it back to HomeSense, I noticed on the receipt it was the day after 
the last return date so um i'm not just going to throw it away or anything so i thought i'd try it and if we do move i'll leave it here and it's not a problem and if we don't move then i'll try and sell it on one of the facebook groups or something and then put in something a little bit nicer if we end up staying here for a bit longer and something that i also wanted to show you is i have got my replacement liner from Handbag Angels for my Longchamp Le Miao. And it turned out that there was a problem on the website where the system was linking to the wrong product, which is why the liner I got didn't actually fit. Oops. As always, beautifully wrapped. So Handbag Angels said that they would send me out a replacement. Uh, I offered to send them the, the one that doesn't fit back. And they said, no, no, don't worry about that, keep that. So now I'm going to have to buy a bag to fit that bag liner. Hey! Um, I also said to them, if you're sending out a new one, can I pay the difference and have the bottle holder in there which is what I thought I already had it's a bottle holder or sunglasses holder you can use that for and they said fine yes so I paid them the eight pounds difference and they sent me this one so I'm just going to unpack the stuffing from the long shop and we're going to see if this fits ladies and gentlemen we have a winner Yep, so that fits perfectly. Wonderful, brilliant. Thank you so much, Handbag Angels, for sorting that out. And I'm glad I was able to raise it with you so you could address the glitch in your system. Hurrah! Oh, I'm so pleased. And because of the possibility of having to put the house on the market, we've been rushing to try and get workmen in to do bits and pieces that needed doing. Needed a plasterer, a carpenter, just a couple of things, a gardener, just a couple of things to um, spruce the place up a little bit if we were going to put it on the market. They're things that we needed to do anyway. So it's a bit of a relief that those things are going to get done and I will share some of those with you in maybe in my next vlog. But it's been a heck of a few weeks, what with the flurry of interviews and hitting 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Again, mwah, thank you guys, I love you all. There is some weird YouTube shenaniganery going on at the moment though, where I'm leaving comments on people's videos and those people are responding to my comments. I see the responses in my notifications. I click on them to go and give it a thumbs up and, uh, and they're gone my comment isn't there and it's all very very weird and I know that it's not the uh, creator who is deleting them or anything because they've already responded to it. Why would you delete something after you've responded to it? Um, and some of my responses to your lovely comments that you lovely people leave on my videos are also disappearing and I'm having to rewrite them too and sometimes three times. Even my own pinned comment from my 1000 subscriber um, video, the one that I keep at the top of the comment section, that I write myself and I pin there, that got deleted twice, so I had to redo that. I don't know what is going on, but apparently there are a lot of people having the same issues with YouTube. So I do apologise to any of you who have left me a comment and you think that I've not responded or I've deleted it or you can't see it or whatever, there appears to be weirdness. So yeah, that's been a weird, weird June. I feel a little bit in limbo. My room is definitely still a little bit in limbo. And I think it is time for me to go and crack open some gin, maybe do the dishwasher as well, and get the hubby a Jack and Coke. It's drinky drink time. The always amazing Jack and Coke for the hubster. And for me, a fresh bottle of my favorite Hendrix gin and some tight water with a slice of lime and I have now decided I'm going to start using these little shot glasses as measurers. Um, I think these are maybe a bit more than a double, I don't know. I'm still approximating it but I'm finding it more useful than just free pouring because free pouring gets me into trouble. Oh yes it does. I 
have got a jigger, but I don't like using it when I'm using two different spillets. Chin chin, I'm going to take this to the hubster. 